is Cape Chronicle and I'm Audrey Kane. We are joined now by Kamaria Pearson. She works for the Missouri Department of Conservation as their Angler Education Assistant. Welcome Kamaria. Hey, thanks for having me. Okay, so I'm totally fascinated by the fact that you are an with, ha, what is it called? An angler? angler education assistant. Angler education assistant, which yes. means you help out with fishing, yes. teaching people about fishing, which is a big deal in Missouri, but it's not very often that I run into women who are interested oh. in it. So yes. did you have hobbies or activities when you were a kid growing up? Where, do you, where, where did you grow up? Um, I grew up here in Cape Girardeau. Okay. Uh, I, uh, my family, was really into fishing. Um, my great grandparents, my grandparents, and my parents. So that's three generations. Um, my brother and I were always uh, having the tag along on the fishing trips. And I mean, at first, you know, it's like, who wants to sit around in dirt and <laughs> keep yes. casting this line out in the water? You're not catching any fish anyway. So those are some of our complaints. And it seemed like our grandparents maybe heard our cry because uh, one fishing trip there was an extra pole and it was just like thank goodness now i have something to do maybe besides just sit yes. in the dirt and so uh, my grandma taught me how to bait a hook and then it was kind of history was, from there oh, it oh, went yeah. from kind of fishing along the banks for bluegills um, in the springtime uh, and then i caught my first fish which was a catfish out at Capitol Hall park i would never forget that and from then on i just really had a, a hobby of fishing um, when I got into high school, um, the Department of Conservation offered um, a Youth Conservation Corps program. And it was for children um, from different backgrounds in any county throughout the Southeast region, because we cover 16 counties. Um, it brought kids together to kind of network. You kind of get to know people from different backgrounds and you're exposed to conservation and you know the importance of it. Uh, the regional supervisor, Chris Kennedy, actually was the coordinator of that group and um, after the first summer I went back the next summer and the next summer and the next summer it was just always so exciting we were always just doing some type of research or and it just made you feel good inside you know I'm, I'm doing something to make the environment that much better you know I may have picked up one can or you know I may have picked up a hundred cans off the planet but that's a hundred less that that you'll have to worry about absolutely so what what is your daily work schedule like? I mean, what do you do? Okay, so my daily work schedule, um, I develop um, programs and activities or um, I go out and aid it with fishing clinics or fishing events, fishing derbies. Um, I also provide um, instructional lessons, the Discover Nature Fishing Program. Uh, I also give other programs such as like the Stream Table, which kind of um, teaches the importance of erosion and how to avoid that and you know how to not channel the river and certain things that you shouldn't do so that you don't affect people upstream and downstream and the environment in general. Um, we also give fish biology talks where we have these really cool fish molds and the kids really get into it because you know they're, they're pretty much to size, they're replicas of actual caught fish. Um, we just give them a little background about each species, things such as uh, characteristics to use to identify them correctly, um, their habitat, their food preference, things like that. Um, the Discover Nature Fishing Program is a program that's been around, um, I believe this is the second year now, and um, it is uh, four lessons, and with each lesson, um, it progresses. So with the first lesson, it's kind of like a spoon feeding because, you know, people tend to stray away from things that they're not knowledgeable in. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't want to do that because, you know, I, I don't think I'd be any good at it or I don't know anything about it. So with this Discover Nature Fishing Program, it kind of provides, you know, a session where children and families as a whole can gain knowledge about how to fish or, you know, how to handle a fish when you're out, how to cast um, regulations and how to follow those. Um, and I mean, it, it's really targeting the youth groups, um, ages seven to 15. Um, you have to have a parent or guardian present. Um, however, you know, when that child, let's say the child casts and they catch a snag, well, that's that chance for the parent to step in and kind of get the experience too, secondhand off of their child so that they can uh, fish in outside settings on their own at their own leisure time without instruction at, just for recreation. 
What, what do you think is your favorite part about teaching people to fish? I live for that kid that's never fished before and he reels in that line and there's his first fish and he's so stoked. It just, it just really gives me a joy because I feel like I'm kind of paying it forward um, as Chris Kennedy and you know the department provided the youth conservation program to expose me to conservation and um, important aspects of it and the importance of it. I just love to give that back. That's just a priceless feeling at the end of the day. I know that I impacted someone or a group of kids or a group of adults in some type of way. Well, I'm sure when kids see you coming, they are excited to get oh, to yes. learn something new. Oh, yes. Well, I'm that's okay. Thank you so much for oh, coming by. Thank you so, so much for having me. It's so exciting to see someone that is passionate, young and passionate about the Missouri Department of Conservation. Thanks, Kamaria. Thank it's you. Nice to meet you. We've been talking with Missouri Department of Conservation Fisheries Management Biologist Kamaria Pearson. Thanks again for your time, Kamaria. And thank you for joining us today for Cape Chronicle. The program is a collaboration between the Department of Mass Media at Southeast Missouri State University, the City of Cape Girardeau, and River Radio Group comprised of 93.9 The River, Real Rock 99.3, KZIM, KSIM, and SEMO ESPN. Our executive producer is Dr. Jim Dufek. I'm Audra Kane. Thanks so much for watching.